Tech Stack here. In this video, I will demonstrate how to configure Image 3.0 on a Lieutenant Colonel hard drive. I've already copied all the files from Master Disk 1 to LU0 and all the files from Master Disk 2 to LU1. I've got LU2 reserved for message boards and LU3 reserved for the upload download section. LU4 through LU9 are not used. I've got device 8 in WinVice emulating a 1541 and device 9 through 11 emulating CMD FD 4000 drives. So let's get started. From the LU0 screen, you're going to type boot 3.0. It return. Image will boot up to the installation screen. You're going to press 1 to configure a new BBS for this demonstration. In part 1, you're going to enter the SysOp information, SysOp handle. SysOp first name, SysOp last name, SysOp email, and the SysOp password. Part two, you're going to set the way that you want image to set the image time upon boot up. In my case, I wanted to set it from the CMD device number nine. Part three, you're going to enter the device and drive settings. As I said in the beginning, I've got LU0 set for the program files and all the other files are going to be on LU1. So we just go through this, set them all up. And at the end it'll ask you if it's correct. You can always go back and make a change by entering no here. But in, we'll go on to part four and enter the information about your BBS. This is the name that you want to call your BBS. This is what the users will see when they log in. The main prompt can be anything that you want it to be. I would suggest making it um, in, along with the theme of your board. demonstrating now you can go back and change any of these items until you got it the way you want it Chat entry and entry, entry and exit screens are what the user will see when you go into chat mode with the user. So at this point, the VBS will begin creating all the files that it needs in order to be able to run. Once 
When it's complete, it'll bring up this screen and ask you to hit any key. Then it'll ask for what type of RS-232 device you're going to be using. I'm using the Swift Link, so I entered one. BBS is now booting up. See in the demonstration, it's pretty simple to set up a new VBS. There are very few things that you have to enter during the setup process in order to get things running for the first time. Once we get to the idle screen, we'll go into the BBS, set up a couple more things, and then it'll be ready to receive calls. As soon as the BBS gets to the idle screen, we'll begin performing auto maintenance. As long as you have uh, set the date from an external device. If you use the configuration to set the date manually, you'll have to set the date first before auto maintenance. Once auto maintenance completes, you're going to use the F7 key to log on in local mode. Press I to log on in instant mode. Enter your password. And let the BBS log you in. BBS will display a list of time zones. Select the time zone that the BBS is operating in and enter the number corresponding to it. Enter MP to disable the more prompt. Enter IM this will take you to the configuration module. Cursor to the I for miscellaneous features and hit enter. Hit enter because we're running on a lieutenant colonel device. We have to tell it which device number the lieutenant colonel is. In my case, I entered eight. Next we have to set the time zone. And this is the time zone that the BBS is running in. And next you're going to set the system ID, which can be any two letters to identify your BBS. Once 
So that's finished. Enter N. To go back to the main configuration editor. And enter J to go to modem config. Notice that the modem configuration module notice identifies that we're on a lieutenant kernel and it asks us which port we're on. We're on port 0, so I entered a 0. Next, enter B to set up a new modem config. Enter 1 to set up a new modem config. Ignore this message, just hit yes and yes to that. So enter the modem brand name. Enter the author of the modem. And just hit enter here. We don't need a custom initialization string. Enter. I'm using 7 for 38.4 kbps. Using DTR hangup. Auto answer for enter A. H for yes, use ATH after the escape codes. H for off hook when in local mode. Zero for yes. H. Enter one. Enter N. Enter 1 and enter 1 for swift link in this case. 0 for no caller ID. Just hit any key. Okay, now if you were running on real hardware. DTR hang up would be the correct setting, but since I'm running in WinVice, I need to change uh, item 2 to escape codes. And so at this screen, I can enter 2 and use E. And I'm going to exit the modem config. And update the modem flag. Next, I'm going to go to the light bar alarm settings. These would be this menu allows you to set the default check marks for the light bar upon boot up. They don't take effect immediately. You have to reboot before they take effect. But we're going to set it up so that uh, upon the next boot up, they'll be correct. About everything is preset for you. You can make changes later on if you want to make changes, but uh, for now we need to go to page four and enter 14 to enable the receive transmit windows. This will allow your modem strings to appear in the receive and transmit windows at the item screen. Now, if you're running on a on real hardware, leave item 13 unchecked. But in the case of WinVice, you want to put a check mark on item 13. Quit and save changes. That's about all there is to it. We can now quit out of the configuration editor back to the main prompt and log off the board. Enter O to log off. And just use the enter key to accept all the defaults on the way out.
once we get back to the idle screen, there's one more thing I want to show you before I end this video. I'm going to use the F6 key, which will allow us to cursor page by page through the light bar all the way over to page 4 and then use F5 to cursor over to the DSR light bar position. F8 and F7 are going to be pressed. So now if I hit this number 6 key on the BBS you'll see all the modem strings coming in on the receive and transmit windows. Now remember because we set the light bar default, the default check marks um, during the setup procedure you won't have to do uh, this the next time you boot up the lower to be set. That's all I've got. Hope you enjoyed the video.